name is Kim and I have obviously had too much coffee already. No. So my name is Kim and welcome to my channel where we share our trials and triumphs as we try to live our best healthy life. I am on the WW Blue plan. I get 23 points a day and I have worked the WW plan to lose more than 100 pounds and maintain it for the past 10 years. So today we're going to do a little day in the life. You can hang out with me as I work, run some errands. I only work half day on Friday, which is pretty fab. So hopefully I can get all the things I need to get done between 12 and three when I get my kids off the bus. But I've had breakfast, I've had my coffee. I'm going to sit up, have some more coffee and then, um, get what I need to get done, done. So come along, be sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and turn on your notification bells. If So let's go. number one is done. I just picked up a new pair of running shoes. Best day, best feeling ever. I also got a new sports bra and I kind of, they say your sports bra should never have a birthday. Many of mine have had plenty of birthdays, but it was half off. So I thought this would be super cute for summer. This is Saucony. So a running kind of specific brand. And then the running shoe that I wear is the Hoka Clifton. And so I got this very cute navy color with the pink and the orange. I noticed yesterday when I was out just how messy it was with all the snow melting and the salt. And just in spring, there are some other cuter colors. Not that the navy's not cute, but lighter and brighter. And I just felt like for spring, I should get something just a little chill that's not going to show the dirt. I replace my running shoes probably every four months. I track the mileage, but I can usually tell when my body's feeling a little more creaky. And the Cliftons are great because they have so much cushion. I switched to these shoes about two years ago when I was struggling with plantar fasciitis. And I just, I rested, I stretched, I iced, I did all the right things and was still struggling. And so... Then I switch shoes and this has helped immensely. I highly recommend them. And if you are looking to get into running, going to a running store, whatever's local to you. So we have a Fleet Feet here. That's where I go because I know all the people and they give me the discounts. I mean, I get dis not that they give me special discounts, but I like the rewards program. So that's what I do. I'm off to find some lunch because I still have more errands to run. And I don't know what I want because we're getting pasta for dinner, and so I'm trying to save some points for some pasta, but I'm hungry. I got problems. done a ton of shopping. I have hit Bath and Body Works, Ulta, the health food store, and Trader Joe's. I need to quick do a pickup at Target, but I'm going to eat this Built Bar that I got at the health food store. It is lemon meringue. It says chocolate. I'm not sure how chocolate and lemon go together. Okay, this is going to be interesting. We're going to decide on this later. All right, so we have successfully made it home in time to pick up the kids from school. And I thought I would do just like a mini haul. So I ended up spending a little more at Trader Joe's than I thought. 
not, I think I was right around 50, 60, which was, I've already gone grocery shopping. So I was like, eh. but by the way, that lemon meringue built bar, it felt like a chocolate covered lemon cough drop. Not quite as like medicinal, but still, I would not buy it again. All right, let's start with the fun stuff, which is always Ulta. I picked up my favorite IT superhero mascara. I tried to do without and go a cheaper route with some Maybelline that I found at Marshalls. Did not, it's not the IT superhero. It's not super. And then I also buy Miracle Shield. I've been out of some heat protectant and I, let me tell you, so there's a, mem a meme about people in the Midwest who love to tell you that they got a deal. And let me tell you, I got a deal because that rang up as a penny. I felt like I should have said something, but I didn't realize until I left and I was like a penny. So I hope I like it. And then I'll just buy the full size and like, you know, do it right. And then I was also conned in the checkout and I got this skin detoxing peel mask, charcoal and plum. I can always use a little detox, don't you know? And then I also went to Bath and Body Works. I had some coupons, again, Midwest, I love a good deal. And I didn't wanna get full size. I find if I buy full size stuff, I just get bored or I don't use it. But my hands and skin are so dry and I'm actually starting to work a more hybrid schedule where I'm in the office part of the day and then at home for part of the day or part of the week. And so I wanted to have just like some little lotions to have here, but also have at work. So I got Bahamas. I'm like super into trying to be tropical. I want to channel everything warm. I want to be hot. It's actually quite beautiful here. It's 40 degrees in Indiana and I walked around the outdoor mall in just a sweater because apparently 40 degrees means summer. I also got the body splash, which I don't usually buy body splash. So, and my dog is barking. Just the body cream in the same scent and then the shower gel. And my thought with the shower gel was I'm actually going on a trip in a couple months. And so just to have some of that, plenty of hand sanitizer because 2020, 2021. And then I also picked up this candle. They're candles for $10 off. And I never used to be a candle person and then I became a candle person, so. But this is orange pineapple punch and it just smells like summer, summer, summer. And so I did go to the health food shop. I was hoping to find, it's where they have all the protein powders and stuff. It's not like hippy dippy health shop, which I love all health shops. I'm just trying to explain the difference. So this is more your workout place. And I really wanted to see if they had the Alani new protein bars and they didn't. So I got a couple built bars because I placed an order on built bars website a couple days ago. And so I just need something to get me through. So I thought I'd try some flavors I didn't want to order. So I have the lemon meringue. This is mint and peanut butter. And that so while we're on this like idea of summer and whatnot, I also got an Amazon order and I got coffee. This is bourbon vanilla cream from Door County Coffee. This is in Wisconsin and I love, oh, daddy, did you want some coffee? You cannot have coffee, you crazy girl, you crazy girl. They have ripped open a bag of coffee before and I was mad. So this, I love flavor coffee, love it. So I picked that up and then I bought my first cup sheet bathing suit and I'm honestly scared. One, I typically go with the high-waisted bikini or one piece because I have, to me, quite a bit of extra skin from weight loss. And I just, I maybe it's a little bit of body dysmorphia. I just don't have that cute stomach. For this trip, it's for a milestone birthday. It's just me and my husband and I want to feel cute. I want to look cute. So I'm trying this cup sheet bikini and I ordered it from Amazon. So if I have to, I can do a return at Kohl's. So 
it's just a little red top, which is a little outside my comfort zone. And these bottoms seem really small. Let's see how it goes. I don't know. Hoping for the best. If not, I'll return it. All right, let's get into Trader Joe's. So we just got a Trader Joe's in October, I believe. And so it still feels really new to me. I only make it there maybe once a month. It just depends. If they did Trader Joe pick up, let me tell you, it would be all the time. Anyway, I got 0% non-fat plain Greek yogurt. I bought two of them. Again, I was just trying to fill in where Kroger messed up. Although there was a couple of things that I could only get there. Like this fat-free feta cheese. Zero points on all plans. Let me tell you. And then I also got the tzatziki sauce. So I plan to make some ground turkey gyros. I think it's like a meatball. I've, I will include the recipe in the description box down below. So I also got the 99% lean ground turkey, which is zero points on the blue plan. And my motto is, is if you're using points for protein, get something a little higher than that. So that's for that particular dinner, as are these naan. So as much as I love naan, I love it so much. These will be for the boys because one flatbread is 350 calories with 64 grams of carbs. I'm not even looking up the points. I'm not. That's for them. I bought myself the whole wheat pita bread. I like pita bread and I can just mark myself a little pocket. So I have those. I just throw things. <laughs> I have not tried this yet, but I've seen this out and about on the gram, the light three blend cheddar. So I'm guessing this is two points instead of four for cheese, which I love cheese and I am fine eating like 2%. I don't like fat free. So there we go. Because I love my children, I bought this sparkling berry lemonade. They love this. And also because my kids complain that I don't buy them snacks, which is a lie, flat out lie. I picked up these crispy peanut butter, I don't know, it's PB and J. My oldest I think will love it. I picked up some of the barbells protein bars. These are for my husband, but if you are interested, these are 200 calories, seven grams of fat, 20 grams of protein, and no added sugars. So I'm curious points wise, my guess would be five or six, but what do I know? I'm not a calculator. And then I saw these in an app, um, email, and again, let me just fall to the marketing. So I picked just one up, and this is the one limited edition, and this is their fruity cereal protein bar. It is 220 calories, seven grams of fat, 20 grams of protein. And if I think about it, I'll put the points on the screen in a little thing, so maybe you don't see my messy stove, my messy stove. So there's, um, I also purchased some very exciting chicken breasts. I made, I mentioned in video last week, my last grocery haul, that I was gonna make Hawaiian chicken. And I made Hawaiian chicken and it was so good. And it was a cup of pineapple juice, some soy sauce, and like garlic. It was so easy in the slow cooker, delicious. I might marinate the chicken in some kind of mixture like that and then grill it, but everybody loved it. Everybody. It was so good. You should make it. Oh, it had brown sugar and I used the Truvia Stevia brown sugar. So it was super low point. That's what it was. It was garlic, brown sugar, pineapple juice, soy sauce. Think about it. If you just need a little sunshine in your life, make some Hawaiian chicken. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Take 900. If you don't feel like, if you don't feel like cooking, that's what I'm trying to say. I picked up the mandarin orange chicken, which from the Instagram I heard is a very popular item at Trader Joe's and they were stocking it, so I purchased it. And my kids love the orange chicken at their school, which I imagine is disgusting. 
but they're kids. So I also have a bag of bird's eye chicken fried rice in the freezer that I thought was cauliflower fried rice and it isn't. So we will probably have this for dinner and I will be nice and put the points on the screen. But for one cup, it is 320 calories, 16 grams of fat and 24 grams of carbs, 21 grams of protein. Now, if you are naive like me and thought that Trader Joe's meant healthy food. Now, let me also clarify, healthy does not also mean it supports weight loss. So you can have a beautiful, lovely kale salad with a lovely homemade dressing that's made from wonderful ingredients, but it might not support your weight loss goals. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. I think that's it for Trader Joe's. How did I spend so much money? The Greek yogurt was five thing, five dollars each, so that's ten bucks there. So Target, I mostly picked up sparkling water because it's my favorite, and I had purchased a bunch the other week and left it in my car, and then it was zero degrees and it exploded. So if you want a lesson in life, don't be like me, or don't live in Indiana. And I'm just gonna open this one because I'm really thirsty. But I was a little nervous about it. But about 15 just fell out of me. It's attacking me. But I was gonna say such nice things. Why would it be so rude? I thought the coconut pineapple would not be that good, but I wanted to try it. And let me tell you, it is so good. So I'm a fizzy water queen or sparkling water queen or whatever you would like it. And I have a soda stream and I still drink my DC Cola, but this is a way for me to drink water because I don't like water. So, so I bought four of those. I also bought my husband's version of an energy drink. Where did it go? He loves these, these Starbucks double shots. And we buy these at Target because they have the little cans, which are not any cheaper than the big cans, but he is less wasteful with these. And these are 70 calories per can and three grams of protein, but it's his version of an energy drink when he works out in the morning. And then I also bought something new to me because I am waiting on my built bars. These Fiber One protein bars, chocolate chip, 90 calories per bar, two and a half grams of fat, 10 grams of protein. So when you compare it to something like, I don't know, the built bar, this has, 130 calories, 130 calories and 17 grams of protein. So calorie for calorie, this is a little more protein, but sometimes you just need a little something. And I'm hoping these are two points, but watch them be like 37. But anyway, I'm gonna put my stuff away, finish my water, maybe fold a little bit of laundry, and then I'm gonna get those kids. I just got home. Mark is feeding the dogs. I picked up dinner. We are eating some Italian food. I've tried to eat kind of low point today so I could enjoy this. Plus I have some weeklies. So excited to dig in. I am starving. And what I did is we ordered like three entrees so we can split them between the entire family. Just have a little taste of everything. So I just have a little bit of everything, a manicotti, some rigatoni, some spaghetti, and half a piece of garlic cheese bread. Well, that's what I eat today. Thank you so much for coming along with me on this little day in the life vlog. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification bells, and until next time, do something you love.